Today we will be disassembling and cleaning this Union um, propane, not propane, uh, gasoline um, or kerosene burner. Um, I found some reference online. They also known as uh, they are also known as um, bad bad uh, burners. Uh, it's not bad as in they are uh, incapable of doing something, but their brand name is bad B A D. Uh, I don't know why somebody called themselves uh, bad, but that's the name of it. Um, the uh, the version that I found online. Um, is dated circa uh, 1930 to 1940. Um, unfortunately, um, the that version actually has um, has some slight different variation to this. So this one's not an exact uh, duplicate of that one. So um, so it present a little bit of challenge to to this disassembly because um, I am kind of uh, going going on uh, some guess on, on how this disassembly is going to go, but it is. Let's go at it. So this is a piece of cast iron, I believe. Um, the top over here is welded together. I don't see it disassembled disassemblable so I don't want to attempt to take that apart because that might break uh, on the video the person take this piece off and replaced it with some kind of uh, clear plastic but once again I don't know what that clear plastic he replaced it, replaced it with so um, this piece is fairly hard to move, um, but it is coming. So I communicated with the owner of this thing, and what I found out was uh, this was being used as more a um, a burner to heat up um, iron. You set the iron, the clothing iron, on top of here. You light the fire, heat up the iron, and your iron close with it. That's what it's supposed to be meant to be doing. Um, once again, I don't know what this stuff is. Um, it's not photo paper, and it's, it's see through, but. It's supposed to be fireproof. It's heatproof. I don't know what it is. So <coughs> That's definitely not good for my my breathing. The reason why it's easy for me to take the screw off is I actually already loosen this screw prior to this. I actually reassembled this a little bit uh, after I took this thing off so I can take some before and after picture uh, without without too much um, change. So slightly cheating a little bit. Slightly cheating on the uh, on the before and after picture a little bit. Uh, what I saw on the on the video of that person was he hit this thing a little bit on the side and this thing's supposed to be two pieces from here this thing looked like it's welded together and this piece is somebody did somebody did something here um, this is very um, 
Somebody already did a um, restoration on this before. This is not a first restoration. You can see that the lid is actually welded. These are modern well. These are modern well. These are not uh, well from the original. See this piece right here? As it gets up here, this is a well. It is a tick well. So uh, there's no way for me to go on to open that up um, like how the other on the video did, which breaks apart and actually opens able to see the inside. Uh, I can see, I actually can see, you can see that uh, from the screw that here is actually two layers. So the top should be able to be taken off. But because of the welding that's done right here, you can see all these um, soldered. Um, this is no longer doable. Um, I will have to talk to the original owner to see if he really want to proceed with uh, unwelding this because this might cause some irre irreversible damage. So this might be just a cleanup, a very, very light cleanup on the outside and that's pretty much it. So I'm not going to talk anymore because this dust is actually bothering me. So no more talking from now on. I'm going to put a mask on. Here I have um, just finished sandblasting the burner and moving on to just temporarily reassembling the burners to see how it looks like. The next step will be electrolysis. Here is a quick glance of the burner, the, the tin part of the burner that is still full of rust. Um, I have done the electrolysis off screen because there was, wasn't much to show, um, but um, the electrolysis removed all the rust and only a little bit remaining so that I had to clean up with the brush a little bit. Uh, and then I proceed to just give a nice polish using the cotton wheel. Finally, after all of the uh, preparation and sanding and, and sandblasting and, and, and polishing, I am ready for painting. I am preparing the burner, taping up all the, the tin and bronze. I don't know if that's bronze, that might be copper. Uh, taping all those up so that uh, when I spray paint it, um, it won't get any of the paint on the spot that I want to. Um, I intend to spray paint the base and the top cast iron black. Um, the, the 
bottom will have a clear coat to make it shiny and protected from scuffing and anything. The top piece, since it's going to be uh, where the heat and burner are, um, will not have a clear coat. Uh, both top and bottom will be spray paint with a black high heat resistant. I bought a uh, barbecue um, uh, stove paint to do this part so that uh, the paint will be heat resistant.